What's up everybody? In quick video today, we're going to be talking about these fuse relays. Let's check it out. Alright, so I'm in the process of putting in some relays in this car I got behind me. And working through this regular relay mess, adding in an additional fuse that runs for your power, gets kind of cumbersome and the problem I have with it is making this look nice in the car. Which, while looking through Amazon, you come across this thing and you figure, how can you beat that? So even more importantly, when you buy these, they are linkable. So when you are building a natural fuse relay or system, you can link these all together. You got something that winds up looking pretty nice and tidy without the added fun and benefit of zip tying your inline fuses somewhere else on your system. Additional fun fact on these things are, so this already has a fuse in it. Now previously I was lazy doing my build and I bought this inline fuse I intended to use on my normal relay kit that I have in this car. So instead of me getting back into my vehicle and wiring this thing in and soldering it into the feed line, I simply just remove the non-fused relay unit itself plug in the fuse relay and I got that one more condition is now sorted so let's discuss the wiring situation of these alright now this kit did come with a wiring diagram which is usually pretty helpful now this is not a why to use and how to use and the science behind the relays but this does show the basics of how to wire these so your 85 is always your ground your 87 is what is going to power and trigger your accessory. The number 30 fuse is always going to be your positive to battery. And additionally, your 86, this will be from the switch, which, or in my circumstances, this is going to be my ground lead from the ECU. These are going to power my electric fans. So with that being in mind, they do also show you a colorful diagram, which helps. Now, which brings me to the wiring ends and how to make this look tidy. Alright, so you do have a few options when wiring these together. One of your options could be either using butt connectors or soldering these joints together, which is kind of tedious. And at the end of the day, you have a whole wad of four junctions that you put together with a solder or your butt connectors. Now, what I like to do is what you can see, these are all my extras. I completely remove there have been quite a few of them over the years. But I remove every one of these from here. There's another one. And in doing so, I'm actually running low. But you can buy the exact same crimp connector that comes with these units. And so your next move is to wire your, your components together the way you want them. Run these crimp connectors together so you only have one joint that now gets hidden inside the actual relay section of this unit. And removing them is easy. All you need are a set of these, which are basically just a bunch of pick connector tools. So you find the right one that you need to remove the pick. There's that little lever that's hanging on in each one of these. So in this case, we're gonna go right on in from the top. I'll push in, I'll feel it release, and once you feel it pop, this will slide right out, leaving you the access point to put your new one in. So after you were to get your crimp connector on this end, you slide them all back, back in at the proper locations, you'll hear them click in, and we'll show you what that looks like on the car. Alright, so here are two of those fan relays that I have wired in here, as you can see. Wiring is tidy. It runs right back into the loom. I still have to kind of tape them up and put them back in its own loom But it really doesn't look like anything's wadded up in here, and it is pretty smooth transition So I'll flip these over for you just so you can see how I switched out those connectors and how there was no soldering involved All right, so we take this off its mounting location As you can see I did pull off that second mounting tab so you no longer have to see that here is everything. You can see my, my commons are just looped over from one to the other. Everything is heat shrinked and runs right into the loom into its devices. All 
All right, so there you have it. Ditch the wiring mess with the older style relays and the inline fuse system. And get you one of these fuse relays and make yourself a lot, your life a lot easier. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.